What is going on everyone? It is time for another video here from Danes in Texas. We're gonna go over some garage gym tips. Obviously CML for Denmark. Welcome to Canal. Tak for the CML. Okay, so I've had a uh, garage gym for about 10 years now and let's go over some of the tips um, that work well for me. Okay, so we live in Texas. Definitely recommend getting one of these Dyna traps. They work awesome. I turn it on at night and it traps the mosquitoes, uh, other bugs, moths, flies in there. And then when I work out or I'm out here, I just uh, close it, turn it off, uh, and there's no mosquitoes. So love that, get one of those, 70 bucks from Costco. And they got like three, four extra bulbs in there. Love it. Clorox WD-40, three in one oil for your gear. Clean, all good. Let's move over to the uh, free weight area over here. We got a dehumidifier. Got this from Amazon, $200. I'll leave a link in the description. But basically, love this thing. Turn it on at night, empty it down here, the water. It turns off by itself when it's full. So in the summer months, um, great to keep uh, all my gear in here from getting um, uh, rusting easily and all that stuff and I got a lot of expensive stuff in here so um, it's definitely worth getting a dehumidifier so another tip here is that you're gonna spend some money on storage I got the uh, rogue monster mass storage here uh, 70 by 70 and this thing is awesome because it's basically like almost like a rack and storage in one so I can use it for a lot of different things um, attach anything I want to it, bands, rehab style. I do a lot these days because of my second shoulder surgery. Also, you can do, um, I mean, flies, whatever. You can pretty much um, get a lot of stuff out of this thing. So spend some money on storage. It really helps. So another tip with this Monster Mass storage rack here uh, from Rogue. When I ordered it, I only ordered three shelves because that's kind of what you uh, have to do when it's 70 by 70. But later on, I had to order, or I wanted to order it another shelf for the dumbbell, so I have two shelves. But shipping costs as much for one shelf as for the entire unit. So if you're looking to get something like this, go ahead and order that extra shelf right away. There's plenty of room for it, whether you do dumbbells or uh, kettle um, or bell shelves on top or whatever it is. This is the normal rail shelf that comes with it, no extra charge. However, just go ahead and order that fourth shelf right away. Save you like 150 or 190 or something on shipping. So um, definitely do that. Another thing, order some extra washers. Um, if you don't have Rogue yet, you'll, you'll um, I'll tell you here that they only bring one washer, giant washer, love the washer, but they don't include this extra washer that I've added um, and there's room for that and that really protects not only the lock washer here because you can strip that when you move it around but also the, uh, the powder coat so order extra washers I'll leave a link in the description I get these off Amazon and they work great I put them everywhere so there's protection all over if we move over here so as you guys can see, I got stall mats, which a lot of people have, love them, definitely recommend them. But what I've done is I've made a gap, about two inches gap here alongside the wall, and that goes everywhere. Uh, I don't use that room anyway, you know, I'm not stepping there, I'm not putting equipment there really. So leaving that gap just makes it so much easier to clean. A hand vac or a handheld uh, vac that can get in there super easy to clean and I don't have to worry about anything. I have, back in the day, I had the uh, mats all the way up as close as I could get to the wall there and just bugs just found a way in there, spiders. It was so hard to clean. So as you guys can see, I have a gap everywhere. Uh, a lot easier, bugs don't go there because they're exposed and um, love it. So I recommend that if you're in the garage. So next tip has to do with cleaning here. The hand vac or the handheld vac, I got it over here hanging on the wall in the corner. Love this thing. Basically a hand vac and a full on, all in one. Can click it to whatever size I want. Got a different attachments on there. 
This is $100, got this on Amazon, and I will uh, leave a link in the description as well, but love this thing. Takes up no room on the wall, easy to hang on the wall, just mount it into the drywall. And of course the TV, which usually is on the tennis channel here, since we're into tennis. And if you like that as well, I recommend that channel, just mute it as I have done, unless you want to fall asleep, because the commentary on there from all of them is pretty much worthless. Now my garage gym obviously hasn't looked like this all the time. So my next tip here has to do with slowly building up your home gym, your garage gym. And I'm basically just bought, buying what's in your budget. So the gym I had before this setup, so this is all fairly new stuff, but I sold it all during COVID. I had bought a used stuff of Craigslist. I bought dumbbells here and there and just build it up. But when it was time to sell during COVID, when everybody was uh, willing to pay more, then I pretty much sold it all. Dumbbells, hammer strength bench, I sold my power uh, blocks, other dumbbells I had, the rack. And uh, with that money, plus I had saved up a little bit more, I started investing in a little bit more expensive equipment such as this. So basically, my tip is, if you're gonna start a home gym, just build it up. Buy what's in your budget. Good thing about this stuff, also, people are always looking for new equipment, but just slowly build it up. There's no rush. So if you have the money, great, go spend. But if not, just slowly build it up. Buy some used stuff, add to it, flip it, and reinvest in some better equipment once you've also saved up a little bit extra. So what is my best investment in my entire garage gym? That is, these mats right here, the gymnastics mats, hands down. So since I have a lot of kids, this has definitely been the absolute best. Two inch thick, EC flex mats here, carpet bonded, very comfortable. And we use this a ton. I mean, this is basically like a babysitter at home. I send my kids out here to play. They can run around, jump around, tumble. Uh, we have the tennis net up and we play tennis a lot. Uh, I mean, this is great. I can do stretching here, core work, do the foam rolling. By the way, this foam roller from Roke, or I guess you can get it other places too, but it's Stealth Align, I think it's called. Totally recommend that. Best foam roller I've ever used. It's about 40 bucks. Um, so I do that out here too. Uh, I mean, we can watch movies out here, you name it. So this gymnastic mat is so good if you have kids. Okay, and I've had these for over six years now. And I mean, still use it every day. And it's basically out in our garage all the time. And it still almost looks brand new. This whole thing, I have three rolls. So I only have two of them out. So I got three rolls. The third one is inside. But three rolls of that was about $1,000. But again, six years of almost everyday use. They look brand new. Um, just a big, big uh, a plus for us family and, and something that for $1,000, we've had so much value. Probably the most value out of this whole uh, a gym. And it has to do that the whole family uses it. Okay, so we got 18 feet, 18 feet, and I also bought a third one that's not here right now. And then there's six feet wide. So basically a 18 by 18 square, two inch thick gymnastics mat, carpet bonded. If you have kids, get some. Okay, we'll finish this video with why should you get a home gym or in my case, garage gym. That is family time and on your own time. So basically, work out whenever you want, wear whatever you want. I'm gonna look at this. Got my $5 Walmart shoes on. Pretty much do whatever I want out here. And we've got the family here. Very, just good, good quality time. And we got a bunk bed here I haven't put together. Got that used. Got to get it out of here because it's taking up too much space in my uh, garage gym here. But definitely recommend getting a garage gym. And if you already have one, awesome. Always look to improve it. All right, that is it for this video. Any questions, leave them in the comments. And please help us by subbing for more videos. And we will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.